Okay, the recording started. Uh, welcome to the Biscuit Fun Meeting. Uh, for those of you who are expecting uh, three senior engineers debugging Python, uh, sorry for the interruption there. Uh, that was a, a little bit of pairing that we'd been doing um, before here. Uh, so it's good to see everyone here. Um, as always with PyScript Fun, it's all about having fun. And what you do is you turn up and you go, I've got a demo. Here's my demo. It's rather cool. And we ask you questions. So if you have a demo, uh, put your hand up now. Andrea's got a demo. That's cool. Uh, so Andre he's got two demos. Or are you doing the bunny ears sign? Because, you know, it's... Uh... Oh, man, look at that. If you do V for victory, it's going to give me balloons. There we go. Uh, oh, no. Nah. Yeah, okay. There we go. I don't know. It's... Uh, who knows what these gestures are? Yes. Uh, so, um, the, the, the floor is yours, Andrea. Go for it. Let me show my screen. You can see it now. I hope. Yep. Awesome. So, long story short, Nicholas and, ha Nicholas and I had a chat, and um, it was like um, talking about bits and bobs, uh, AI, and stuff like that. And it was like, um, and I, and, I, and I say, how about I create a demo for with, with, with AI and anything AI related because it's a huge topic. Um, we are very focused in making it possible everywhere, and PyScript happens to be probably the right place to even start learning something, which I did um, by making this demo. So this is just standard template HTML. Logging well, PyScript, this is just a script to show a spinning number on the page that I'm not blocking because I'm using a worker. Um, I'm also using a config tomo, which you can see here. Um, it's loading these packages, and then there is the AI Py. It's not really AI, but basically I took these you are not familiar at all with the um, neural network, how it works, what you need, what it does. Uh, I suggest having a, a look at this page because uh, this, this post looks very uh, well written. There are stone, the tons of details in there. And most importantly, there is code. So this is a sort of ripoff of most, mostly the, the, the nitty gritty or the most important part of the, of the, of the post. There is a neural network class, and uh, all the private methods are basically explained in there. This one, this one, um, and then we have a predict ability and a way to train the, the neural network. So I'm, um, I don't know enough <laughs> to explain this any better. All I know is that once following the post, I wrote the code, I tried the code, um, and then I've done the training, learning rate, train, and then checked the, uh, at the end of the day, I display on the page the, the, the curve of the, of, the, uh, of the errors. And so basically it's trying to analyze how many errors there are over more training. But this is all random, so this is just really demo. But uh, cool enough, this actually works. Um, it's loading all the things and it's not blocking as you can see here and at the end of the day I should see a lib plotted with um, the error for all training instances and all the iterations and that's it. I think there are hundreds and uh, iteration. I could change that, make it more, make it less. Um, right now, yeah, it's here. Um, I'm not going to change it, I could change this now, maybe, maybe just 80%. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so it was cool that it worked. And basically I wrote my first chunk of basic AI to uh, start learning, understanding. Actually, wow, I wrote a uh, percent, oh, module 80, it became up to 120. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm doing here. But again, this works. But 
for me, this wasn't enough, to be honest. I wanted to, to explore more cool, cool things, more visual things that is not just a, a plotted chart telling me that I'm doing something cool. Um, I wanted to use PyTorch, for instance, and I suddenly realized that PyTorch currently, apparently, cannot... Somebody tried, I'm not sure what's the current state, but apparently it cannot work out of the box in Pyodide. There are complications. And I thought, okay, I read through a few uh, uh, issues on GitHub and I was like, hmm, let me guess what would be the best programming language on the web to do some, to, to, to use the web platform as much as you can. And turns out JavaScript libraries are pretty cool because they can hook into um, even GPU power using WebGL or either WebGPU most recently, and uh, and there there is this library called ML5. Uh, I'm not sure a link after, but ML5 uh, is based on Tensor TensorFlow JS, and uh, it was straightforward. So I just literally mostly copy and paste the the the, the little piece piece of code. Um, so this is again the template. Um, this time I'm using MicroPython instead of PyLite. I'm not using workers because in this case the library needs, unfortunately, it looks for the window in the global scope and it fails if I, load, if I run the library in a worker. So I'm running on the main thread by using MicroPython, so everything looks good and nothing looks like blocking. The config tunnel this time is just ML5 library and uh, this is extracted from this lovely CDN service because he compiles even non-modules into an uh, ECMAScript module. And because we want to use ECMAScript modules, I'm just telling ASM run ML5 and give me the module ML5 so that I can do this. From PyScript.js module, I can import the default, which is the object containing all the, all the things ML5, as ML5, and I can use ML5 down the code. Um, this is an object detector, so it's using um, Coco SSD. There is um, there are two variants of this detector. There are a few variants actually. You can check on the ML5. Uh, the other one is called YOLO, I think. <laughs> you only look once uh, in this case. <laughs> and basically, this this code. It, it really doesn't do much. It creates a canvas. This is all MicroPython running on the, on the main thread. It draw a canvas. Once you have the canvas of results, it draw the results, and the results are provided by the um, object detector. So ML5 object detector. Um, okay. ML5 object detector. Um, this is actually older code, but I hope it works. Uh, I, I've, I've updated. Uh, I, I've place all of these into GitHub and I'll share the link as well later. Um, but anyway, it uses this model. Once it loads, it starts detecting and once it detects, um, sorry, it, 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 once the, the model is loaded, it starts detecting, detecting the image. The image is a well-known, currently hard-coded image target asset. And once detected, um, it, if there are results, it drew um, a square that you will see in a, in a second. Even if this is not the, the latest, I think I tried this and it works. Yay! Yes. Yay. It's a cat. Um, that's cute and everything. And um, another thing I've done is to uh, is to test not just the cat because the, tech, the cat was the image provided by the site itself. <laughs> so I tried another another image, and it was kind of disappointing, but it still was fun <laughs> to read the result. So this is a different image, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it means that the model is, is not super accurate, the prediction is not super accurate, and this is a best guesstimate, guesstimate I suppose, but also, as you have noticed, it's extremely fast, so I can just load the image and ask to detect something, object detection in this case, and it gives me some result. 
well, not accurate in this case, but I'm pretty sure the, the model is small enough to not be uh, super accurate because, well, it's running on my machine. But this is this was, for me, both entertaining, fun, and, um, and cool to experiment with. Uh, well, is uh, in um, examples, so, no, not here. So, I have github.com web reflection examples. Uh, I created a folder, I created this just today, and uh, you can see, and you can try Neural Network and ML5. Um, cool part is that actually this should work uh, already on GitHub, so I'm publishing my GitHub pages, so... Um, examples, yeah, so the Neural Network hopefully will show up at some point, but there should be also the ML. ML5 thing. Yeah, that's the chart. And now the ML5. Um, there's a cat. And so feel free to clone and play around with. Um, these are just most two basic demo. But a while ago I complained that I, I keep writing a lot of demo cool stuff and then there's nowhere to, to find these. And so I, I, I put everything into, into GitHub now. And I will keep doing this for the next um, fun, fun demos time. Um, that's it. I'm going to stop sharing. Bravo. Okay, any questions for Andrea? Mador. Yeah, no, not, not a question. So I, I guess the neural network that you had was just a two-layer network. So if you want some improvement, I have a script for a generalized and layer neural network purely using NumPy, using all the trace uh, operations and minimum amount of for loops. So if you want to it use works that, on, It works on Python, right? It should because it's pure NumPy. So yeah, I did it in university. So if, if you want it, it's there. You can replace it. Good stuff. Well, me personally, it was just curious to see if I can do anything at all and uh, it didn't take much time and it was a quick learning, uh, little, little quick learning experience um, and it was fun. So I will definitely ask you for more when I need it. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've just been pinged by Chris at Tuft saying I'm trying to uh, trying to join but discord is updating and it won't let me do the thing and it's stuck in an infinite loop and so the poor fella is uh is uh you know can't make it um so um <clears throat> that's great Wait for the web <laughs> <laughs> i'm on the web on, yeah. a, on a browser tab and yeah. uh, never never have this issue yeah yeah um, but uh, that, that's that's great. I mean, we're, we're doing AI-ish things uh, with neural networks. I'm in the middle of writing a blog post about how neural networks work. Um, 20 years ago, my MSc dissertation was all about neural networks, and it turns out when it comes to the actual implementation layer of neural networks, not a lot has changed. Um, what has changed is the amount of compute that gets and the size of the neural networks and also the way that... Uh, the data is represented and the way, uh, um, you know, that's all used, uh, you know, vectors and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm looking forward to writing, uh, finishing writing that blog post. But as part of that blog post, and this might be of interest to Jeff, I want to start including, you know, examples as I build up how you make the neural network uh, in PyScript. So you should be able to use the Py editor. Uh, type thing to 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 make the thing work. Um, so uh, watch this space. I think if we have more um, AI stuff, maybe LLMs and things like that, because that's the cool new kid on the block. Um, especially uh, if we can um, uh, take the C code for the neural networks and compile it to Wasm and then wrap that with Python, um, then we're going to be in a, a, an interesting place as well. Um, if we can use the uh, GPU APIs for the browser so that you can get to the uh, the local machine's GPU for the compute power as well. That's going to be interesting, but we're we're a long way off from getting uh, to a mature example. These are just the very first steps in the snow in a vast field that we are yet to explore. So uh, I, I would encourage folks to just have a have a have a lot of fun. I know Madhu, you've been working on on neural networks and things recently, and uh, clearly Andrea has. I've I've been uh, reacquainting myself with the state of the. Uh, 
of of um, of the universe in that case as well. Do we have any more demos for PyScript Fun for this week? Okay, well, uh, we're 20 minutes in, so uh, any more comments or suggestions or feedback or announcements or anything like that anyone needs to make? If not, um, then uh, I'll declare the, the meeting closed. I'll just stop the recording.